Look at all the excuses being thrown out by Town Crier. Just because he's an admin, he thinks he can take advantage. Yeah, guys, uh, the power's been out. It's been flickering and, uh, you know, stuff like tornadoes and uh, junk, you know? Let's get this party started. Here we go. Grand Strikers versus Four Strikers. One cup. Quite the lineup for both teams. We do not have Robotic, though, for Four Strikers. One cup. He is a very, very good queen. Dangerous. Titanium told me personally that he's actually terrified of robotic. He said, fuck that guy, man. I don't want to play when he's playing. Those were the words used by Titanium, and I'm totally not exaggerating in any conceivable way. At all. Kaokin with over a thousand games. Fuck you, Kaokin. <laughs> I mean, really? 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 Get a job. Come on, man. God damn. Get a job. I'm just kidding, Kaoken. If you didn't play Star Strikers 24-7, I mean, I think everyone would be incredibly disappointed. Alright, so we're going to start in here as the teams are picking their units of choice. I honestly thought K.O. Ken would be last, trying to debate between the uh, super useful Roach and the increasing in popularity <laughs> DT. Five, um, four, three, no, it's not going to happen. Two, Grand Strikers lineup, Eskahol, K.O. Ken, Colossus, no. Titanium versus the lineup of Four Strikers, One Cup, Town Crier, Whisper, Try and Stop Us, and Aardvark, who's stepping in for Robotic. Uh, Grand Striker is going to be the first ones to grab the ball. Coloss uh, playing probe here. Interestingly enough, uh, Coloss usually likes to play the sentry, looking for that corner bread, and it happens. Corner bread, first goal for Grand Strikers. Nobody guarding the corners. Nobody guarding the corners. Try and stop us starting off for Four Strikers one cup off that first goal from Grand Strikers. Quick little steal there from Kaoken on his drone. Finds Coloss through the middle. Town Crier snatches the ball, manages to sneak around, and he's trying to go around Esco and grab the ball from the side. Not going to happen. Try and stop us. Moving up through the middle. Passes on up to Town Crier, but some good uh, grapples there from Esco. And Kaokin jumps in the back as well and help out. Coloss looking for the ball up front. Not going to happen. Some good changes going on there. Whisper has switched over to the Zealot. And now we've got some movement here from Four Strikers One Cup. He's trying to get in between the grapple and Esco. Esco calling the shot perfectly. Beautiful save by Esco. And that's going to keep Grand Strikers in the lead. There it goes, though. Town Crier with the follow up goal. We've got some action here to start things off. One to one is the score. Grand Strikers versus Four Strikers One Cup. Uh, close game thus far. Again, Whisper uh, playing that Zealot now. Uh, I got to say, I'm probably going to try and take some take some notes here for my Zealot play, which is regarded as pretty high skill. But you know, everyone's got to you know try and learn. Esco looking for that offensive queen goal, not going to happen. And Kao can try for the rebound. He hits the post, possibly trying for corner bread. Instead, he gets just plain old wheat. It's not the same. Whisper, grabbing the ball out of that little scrim, a little scrum there. Uh, some shots going into the corner, not going to happen. But rebound picked up by Okeo Ken, and he throws it into the goal. Two to one so far. Grand Strikers up. I do like the unit change here by Four Strikers One Cup, um, going with the Zealot. Um, personally, I, I don't know how great this is going to be uh, without the Queen, but uh, we got some really offensive. Uh, pushing there from Whisper that that is similar to a four check in hockey uh, play coming out from that Zealot. It's extremely helpful. Um, but uh, some good pushing there from Kaoken. 
turns the ball back over for Grand Strikers. Town Crier looking for somebody to pass to, just trying to stay away from Kolos in that orb. Beautiful pass, but Kaoken grabs it. Whisper tries to shoot it in, but Escaho with the save. Big, big save so far from Escaho. He has saved two goals easy. Um, and, uh, you know, I I'm really impressed so far with Four Strikers 1 Cup. They're playing very well, even without one of their key players, uh, Robotic. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just, like I said, like, that's like a testament to what I said earlier. They are con uh, I, I would consider them like a very, uh, a very big dark horse in this tournament. They're playing very well versus considered one of the, uh, if not the best team, uh, Grand Strikers. Um, some nice plays there. Good teamwork. Aardvark pushing out, uh, pushing out uh, uh, Grand Strikers uh, out of bounds. But Titanium oh. with a quick recovery, staying offensive, staying aggressive with the ball, puts the ball back into the goal. Now up 3-1 is Grand Strikers. Uh, close game so far. We'll see if uh, Four Strikers can uh, get some get some ball movement going here. They Again, they've been playing still pretty aggressive versus Grand Strikers, trying to make them uh, make the saves. And wow, I can't believe that Escajo got that. I, I I thought that I thought that uh, I thought the ball was still forward. Town Crier looking for Whisper. He finds him. Whisper gonna get a free shot. Three to two. Three to two. Grand Strikers versus Four Strikers. One cup. Close game so far. Um, some big plays on both sides. And and I'm very impressed with how aggressive Four Strikers is playing. It's like it's like it's like forget you. I know you guys are considered number one, but we have nothing to lose. We're just gonna play balls to the wall and just and just play super forward and and not put that much defense on we want to we want to get some freaking goals on these guys and they are they're playing very well um you know i think the big difference so far has just been the pushing uh coming from grand strikers they're just pushing a little bit better kaokin's grabbing a lot more uh turnovers for them and uh it's helping them a lot Escaho misses a grab finally uh town crier looking to move the ball downfield he passes to himself and somehow misses i don't i don't even know i don't i don't even know uh titanium uh, now looking for the ball, trying to find Coloss out deep. Not going to happen. Town Crier now with the ball. Trying to find somebody to pass to. That's a pretty bad pass. Goes right into the uh, middle of Grand Strikers there, and that's going to enable Coloss to move up the field. Coloss looking for that long-range goal. He's trying to bait out the Nidus here from Try and Stop Us. Titanium oh. quick grab and right into the goal. Super fast kicks. That's uh, that's allowing him to get these scores. He didn't even have time to throw down a Nidus. Um just right into the goal as soon as he touched the ball. That's what you got to do when you're playing this aggressive offense. Very nice play from Grand Strikers. Quick turnaround there. Try and stop us. Trying to find Whisper uh, a little bit further down. Not going to happen. Goes out of bounds. 4-2 to two is the score here. Grand Strikers versus 4 Strikers. One cup. Kolos now switched over to the sentry. He's uh, been pulsed up. He's uh, This is kind of the unit that Kolos is known for. He does very well with the sentry. Maybe he was trying out the probe, and now he switched over to the sentry. It's going to be a quick goal for them. This could be uh, could be a pretty big momentum shift here for Grand Strikers. And uh, Kolos um, could be the big difference here on the sentry. Try and stop us now with the ball for four strikers, one cup. Trying to find Ardvark. He's on the stalker. Uh, they just uh, exchange pulses there. Whisper with some nice moves. Does get the ball stolen, though. Kaoken, again, huge plays from Kaoken um, with these with these turnovers. He's providing all kinds of opportunities for, for uh, the Grand Strikers. Try and stop us now. Trying to hold on to those Nidus. He doesn't want us to just waste them on those loose balls. Um, good pushing from Whisper. Big turnover. But Kaoken, again, again, that Nidus play from Kaoken. He just keeps getting the ball forward. Getting the ball forward. He's playing beautifully. And uh, he's just one of the most consistent Star Strikers players. And I think anybody uh, would agree. Five seconds left on the clock. But no, it's going to go down to zero. Nobody's got the ball. So it's going to be a random ball. Uh, I think I think it's considered a random ball. Um, I, can't, I can't remember if it's like a difference with the score that determines uh, that determines the randomness or not. I don't know. Escaho has now switched over to the Marauder, though. Uh, it's an interesting choice. I think in the games that I have played versus Esco, I think his queen is just much, much stronger than the Marauder play. So this might just be uh, some kind of aggressive strat. And we're seeing uh, Kolos switch over to the Archon as well. So he's just trying to break things up. Uh, I don't see Kolos play a lot of Archon. Uh, so it's hard for me to it's hard for me to judge. He's playing it very aggressively though, and uh, the Archon being a you know of probably one of the best passers um, in the game, as uh, well as um, as uh, sort of map control. 
Uh, Kaokin now playing very offensive drone, getting the ball forward as uh, he has switched positions, and now Kaokin's going to do a little bit of a spin dunk. He does a 360 right into the goal, and uh, wow, uh, big, big plays there from Kaokin. Uh, again, Esco and Colas now, uh, I don't know if they're just feeling confident uh, switching to sort of their, uh, you know, secondary or even tertiary units um, versus four strikers, one cup. Maybe they're trying to make a statement here. I uh, probably didn't like what I was saying about the Dark Horse tournament, uh, you know, playing well, etc., etc. Who knows? Colas going to find Kaokin way out in front. Uh, this unit composition might work just really well versus uh, Four Strikers 1 Cup unit no. composition. They don't have anybody back. So this ball movement uh, situation that they've got with a Stalker, a Marauder, and a uh, Archon uh, to get the ball forward so quickly is uh, is proving challenging versus Four Strikers 1 Cup. They don't really have a queen uh, to s just you know play defensive and hang back. So... Uh, Grand Strikers taking advantage of things right now. Uh, Town Crier now out in the front. Uh, he gets pushed by Titanium. Beautiful push. Whisper trying to come in through the back. Not going to happen. There goes the Ninus down by Kaoken and uh, almost goes through, but just just short of the goal. Town Crier getting uh, pushed into uh, a good spot there. He does manage to take the ball away. Orbs go out. Whisper looking for that push. Not going to happen. He tried to get a push going so he can get in position. Didn't didn't work out though. Titanium now moving the ball along. Try and stop us now. Calling the ball. He he does get the Knight is uh, in good spots there, and Esco uh, going to use his punish to get the ball forward a little bit. Colos grabbing the ball, and uh, he's going to use his, uh, God, I can't even remember, par paroxysm um, to uh, to push away the uh, other team. Colos now keeping control of the ball, passing to Kaokin. Grand Strikers up 7-2 to two here. Uh, this is a pretty big score difference. It's going to be really hard for Four Strikers 1 Cup to uh, to come back here. Uh, I think they're having a lot of problems with the team composition now of the Grand Strikers, who seem to be really taking advantage of the lack of defense coming out from uh, Four Strikers 1 Cup. Try and stop us, kind of be playing all over the field right now, and he's just having a lot of time, uh, a, lo a lot of trouble uh, getting back on defense. Now it seems like... Uh, Grand Strikers is just moving the ball so much better than before. Uh, now Whisper has switched on over to an Immortal. We'll see how that works out. Uh, again, Immortal's uh, really nice. The Collide Fist is probably the best, one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, see, it just totally changed the uh, changed the matchup there. There was a turnover. Kao Ken wasn't even able to throw down an ice, and there we go. Another goal for four strikers, one cup. Immortal could make a pretty big difference here. We've got four minutes, 34 seconds left on the clock. Going to be hard to come back against one of the best, if not the best, team in the league, uh, the Grand Strikers. Esco going to play a little greedy here. Just trying to hold the ball as long as possible. Going for that European style. Doesn't work out, though, as uh, there goes the punish. Esco trying to get the ball away from Whisper. Whisper trying to push. Not going to happen. Oh, a bit late on the pushes there for trying to stop us. And Whisper is going to label Kolos to get out in front. Good paroxysm there. Tries to go around, try and stop us. Who does manage to out you? Kolos is pretty nice. Punish, though, from Esco. Keeping the ball forward. Kaokin looking for somebody to pass to. Find Titanium. And there's all kinds of units grouped up here. Uh, Aardvark misses the self pass though he blinks forward without the ball Kolos going to reclaim it and shoot it right into the goal three to nine is the score right now grand strikers up versus four strikers one cup who look to try and get some kind of momentum change here versus the unit switching of the grand strikers town crier looking for that goal he's going to run into the punish of esco punishes just a millisecond too late uh, as well as the night is going down from kaokin Four to nine now. Quick goal. They just basically walked right up to it and shot. Um, it's always a little. It's always a little weird or awkward when that happens. I think it, a lot of it has to do with just energy management. Uh, and there we go. Titanium basically just doing the same thing for Grand Strikers. Both both teams just seem to be exchanging goals right now. And obviously that will work in favor of the Grand Strikers, who are up ten to four in this matchup. Try and stop us. Try to find Ardvark. Uh, who gets into a pulse war with Titanium. Titanium is made of metal, so that's going to be hard to win. Uh, there we go. Nice uh, forge uh, passing there coming from Aardvark and Whisper. Aardvark's going to just be able to get the goal right in. 5-10. to ten. Four Strikers, uh, one cup, still keeping this a little bit closer uh, than probably most teams would in this situation. Uh, but they are still having a very tough time versus the Grand Strikers. 5-10 to ten is the score. Kolos now with the ball for the Grand Strikers. Uh, switch back to the Sentry. Again, his unit of choice. Titanium passing the ball to himself. Trying to get the ball uh, some kind of angle. Looking for somebody to pass no. to. Goes for the corner bread. 
goes for that corner bread. I wonder if it's jalapeno corner bread. Try and stop us with the ball for four strikers, one cup. Try to find Town Crier. Doesn't happen. Esco with the punish. Kaoken trying to outjuke Aardvark. Doesn't happen. Town Crier moving up with the ball. Looking for corner brand himself. He's got a minute and 31 seconds left. Trying to keep this respectable as Aardvark looking for somebody to pass to. Walks right into Kaoken and Kaoken walks out of bounds. Passing from Aardvark. We got some decent pushing. Whisper gets the goal there. Taking advantage of his teammate's gravity well. Grand Strikers up 11 to 6 in this game number one. Esco with the ball for Grand Strikers, taking his time. Titanium now with the ball, trying to get in those salty wounds goals. Colos goes invincible. Finds the goal yet again, 6 to 12 in favor of Grand Strikers. Those salty wounds goals taste the best. Aardvark, quick breakaway. He's going to get a free goal here unless Escajo gets a good punish off, and he does. He does. Grand Strikers saves the ball. Oh, oh, oh man. That was a sick punish. That was a perfect save from Escajo. Probably one of the best defensive players in the league. Grand Striker's going to hang on to the ball here. Our oh, Town Crier could steal it, trying to get that last minute goal. Not going to happen. Oh, going for the corner bread. He comes up short. Oh, man. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. A lot of good saves there from Escajo. Doing the hammer dance. Oh, actually, is that just considered the running game? I don't know. I don't know. I obviously need to watch more Glee or whatever the fuck those shows are that promote dancing. I don't know. I don't watch any of them. Team that is behind gets the ball. Okay, that's what I thought. Second game going to start here in just a second. Going to have Grand Strikers versus Four Strikers. One cup. Game number two for the Kick It Forward League. If you guys are tuning in and you have not seen the website, you can check it out at www.kickleague.com. It is on the screen. You can also follow, it, follow us on Twitter, Kick It Forward One on Twitter. Apparently, I'm playing for four strikers, one cup. I guess they want to win now. What?
Okay. We need a let's get ready to rumble style announcer. You want me to do it? I can do it, man. I can do it. You want that? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You want you want you want that? Is that what you want? Let's get ready to rumble. Grand Strikers versus Four Strikers 1 coming, coming at you live on the Kick It Forward League. Wax Stevens streaming here. You doubted? You doubted? Why did you doubt me? Oh, Kaokin stealing my line. Stealing my line. I don't know if I like. Let's take a look at the lineups here. Before Strikers 1 Cup, we've got Try and Stop Us in the Drone, we've got Town Crier in the Probe, we've got Artvark as a Ghost now, changing things up a little bit. Esco gonna be playing a Hydra. I don't know. I just, I don't even. Four, three, okay. Two. Kolos gonna be playing the Stalker. It's no. a very deny based kind of team. It's uh, it's an interesting composition, to say the least, from Grand Strikers. A uh, little bit of an exchange going through the middle here. Hydra throwing out some spit. Hawking some loogies, as the cool kids would say. Whisper has also changed up to the Hydra. Got a little bit of that homing missile pass. Doesn't know where the hell it wants to go, and neither do I. Town Cryer passing up for Aardvark. Aardvark moving things up. Spit everywhere. Oh my god. It's like a Justin Bieber concert. Esco passing the ball up now. Getting to Titanium. Titanium out in front with that SCV. Spit is just everywhere. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Titanium. Free shot. Goes right in. Town Crier not even going to try and use gravity well to get the ball to go out. Don't think he had enough time. Down Cryer with a quick shot. Going to go right in. Four Strikers, one cup, evening things up. One to one in game two for the Kick It Forward League. Escaho is now switched on over to Marauder. Looks like he's done trolling. Snipe coming out from Ardvark. Gets a nice little turnover here for Four Strikers, one cup. Town Cryer up with the ball. Kaokin gets it stolen, though, in a very unusual uh, setup there. Town Cryer now with the ball. He uses the orb. Kaokin getting position. He does push Town Cryer out of the way. I think I heard Kaokin get angry. There might have been some cursing. He never curses. Kolos now looking for the ball, looking for somebody to pass to. Trying to juke. He can't out juke, try and stop us, but he does out push him. Titanium now moving up the front. Sticking close to the sideline here as uh, he gets sniped and he, oh, <laughs> he just got nuked. Three, three different abilities there. He got spit, he got sniped, and he got shield walled in the face. Damn, son. I, wait, he's the only. He's the only SCV. He shield walled it himself. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Kolos now with the ball for the Grand Strikers. And some beautiful pulsing there from Kolos. But it's not enough. Team can't get it and move forward. 1-1 one one is the score. Titanium with a nice little steal. And a beautiful shield wall. But try and stop us with the Nidus. Can't get it past Escaho who shoots it into the goal. 2-1 is the score now for Grand Strikers. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a tough position. Try and stop us didn't really have anybody to pass to. And he kind of panicked and just got it out of there. Went right through the middle here and ran into Escaho. Beautiful plays from both teams. Really sick stuff. Titanium almost getting sniped by Aardvark. Aardvark misses it by a millimeter. And uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, get this to stop. Titanium, beautiful wall. Uses it. Uses it. <laughs> oh, my God. 
That was sick, titanium. That was sick. Should probably turn that off. As, uh... Beautiful freaking plays from Titanium. Uses the shield wall, passes him to himself, and basically denies anybody from getting the ball. It's it's just really amazing shield wall in play from Titanium. Try and stop us now getting uh, completely beaten there by Titanium. And uh, both teams trying to find uh, some somebody to pass to that's open. But lots of turnarounds just happening through the middle. That's, you can, that's something you can use to tell a sign of a really good game. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. I, I really do think Four Strikers One Cup is, is playing beautifully uh, so far in, the, in this uh, season of Kick It Forward League. Um, I think they are definitely a dark horse. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think a lot of teams expected them to do as well as they're doing. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very encouraged by their play. I think uh, I think it's good stuff. Kaoken with the turnover here for the Grand Strikers. Where Aardvark is quick to grab it. He's going to throw out a snipe there. Eskoho baits it out, steals it. Uh, steals being exchanged. Ar Aardvark finding the open Town Crier. Town Crier doesn't have anybody to pass to. Three on one. He can't pass to anybody. Whisper does get the pass. Spit going out. Eskoho with the beautiful punish, though. Sends it back to Grand Strikers. Town Crier with the ball. Gets it close to the goal. Can't put it in, though. He needs somebody to follow up. He needs that alley-oop. Uh, try and stop us trying to find somebody to pass to. Sees that the Nidus has been put down by Kaoken. And now uh, Grand Strikers now moving the ball backwards. Try and stop us now. Passes it into Titanium's grasp. And, you know, I, he, he made a couple um, bad choices on passing so far. And I, and, I, and I think he just needs to calm down a little bit. He might be a little nervous here. Gets pushed out of bounds by Titanium. And now Grand Striker's moving the ball. They're in good position. Titanium just going to retain control as it gets thrown in by Kaoken. Try and stop us. Nidus throws it out. Just trying to get it away from the goal. Looking for that corner bread. Titanium bounces it off the post. It's off the post. Kaokin with the quick grab. Shoots it into the goal. Four to one now for Grand Strikers. Woo! Sick plays. Whisper changing on over now to a stalker instead of that Hydra. Substitutions being big so far for both these teams. Kaokin with the good Nidus placement. Uh, right in the middle of the field, basically, is uh, he's going to definitely get a turnover. Titanium using shield wall to just play greedy. It's a very interesting way to play the SCV. He's using the shield wall not so much defensively. He's using it very offensively. He's, he's just using it to hold onto the ball himself. Corner bread not going to happen. Town Crier with the grab. Using the gravity. Well, Kaokin uh, trying to reinforce his team. Oh! Try and stop us. Oh, man. Oh, man. Passes right into Grand Striker's grasp. Esco just reclaims it and throws it right into the goal. I, you know, I, I'm not going to blame any one person, but I think I think try and stop us from just might be a little too nervous right now because he played really well in that last match. But, you know, a couple of these passes, man, these, uh, you know, this is a, turn, a turnover right here. Um... And uh, this is going to be another Grand Strikers goal. Six to one now in favor of Grand Strikers. Big, big plays from Grand Strikers. Here we go. We got some more unit changes. Whisper now going to be switching on over into Zealot. Uh, I did see a, a Marine over there. I don't know who that one was from. Ball being passed up now. Four Strikers, one cup. Another goal right before the buzzer. Six to two. They will reclaim the ball as well. They're going to hang on to things. Got a change out here by Esco. Esco playing serious. The queen has come out. And titanium face palms. I don't know why. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, go. Try and stop us. Trying to find somebody to pass to. Kaokin with that aggressive Nidus. He calls it perfectly and gets the uh, gets the turnover again. Titanium looking for the juke, you know, and try and stop us. He's playing very well. He's just, it seems like those panic passes 
just causing a couple problems, and he's got to just play it a little bit smarter. A uh, whisper now passing the ball up for uh, Town Crier, uh, but a, an, a sick grab by Esco uh, pulls him back. Uh, looking for the steal is Town Crier, not going to happen. Aardvark going to use Snipe here. Can't grab it, though, as he's double teamed. Esco with better position manages to hold things off. A Titanium throws down the wall. Koloss going to blink right in front of it. Keep the ball moving forward for Grand Strikers. Try and stop us. Passing it again. He's trying to pass it out, and he just hits Grand Strikers again. You know, um... Uh, he's, he's just run into all kinds of problems with the passing there. Uh, Whisper now with the ball. Finds uh, try and stop us. Uh, some nice play coming out from Kaokin as uh, Whisper gets forced into the corner there. And uh, big turnover is happening near the crease. And Titanium with the goal. No, nope, it was handed on over to Kolos, I think. I can't tell. Uh, but big, big plays here from Grand Strikers. Keeping the ball in this area. They are keeping the ball here, and they are just forcing, uh, they are forcing four strikers one cup to just play super defensively, and uh, their unit their unit composition is not allowing them to save those crucial goals. So good, good uh, ball control here coming from Grand Strikers, um, and uh, they are just uh, see, look at that ball movement, beautiful, keeping things forward. Now Titanium going to get another free goal. Uh, it, it just seems like four strikers one cup doesn't have the defense right now. They're missing their player, Robotic, very much. Aardvark is very good, but uh, Robotic is a, is a really amazing queen, and I feel like um, with, with that extra support, I think that they would be doing much better. Uh, they haven't really gotten many games in with Aardvark, so they're just lacking on the defensive front. And Titanium gets sniped, but he's still way in front, so he's going to get another free goal. Now it seems like Grand Striker's just running away. I think this is, uh, I think this is just going to be a runaway uh, uh, set of goals here for Grand Strikers. They still got five minutes left. Um, so four strikers, one cup can do something, but uh, they really have to be passing a lot better. Um, they have to be making smarter passes, and uh, you know, as DJ we would say, thread the fucking needle, man. Titanium moving the ball slowly. He's gonna run into the snipe from Ardvark. Good timing on that whisper. Trying to find somebody to pass to doesn't oh. happen. He tries to juke Titanium. Titanium doesn't fall for it. Shoots it right in the goal. Grand Striker seems to be finding their groove against Four Strikers One Cup now. Esco with the ball. Looking for somebody to pass to. Koloss going to move back. Kaokin tries to get in position, and Esco passes to himself, but Town Cryer with a beautiful steal. Uh, looking for somebody to pass to, finds Try and Stop Us, who shoots it into the goal, but Kaokin uh, manages to grab it. Oh my god, that shield wall! That shield wall, what just happened? Denied the gravity well. Oh man, denied the gravity well from Town Cryer. Titanium, sick plays, sick plays. Whisper stealing the ball. He's been really, really helpful for four strikers, one cup. Lots of turnovers coming from Whisper. He's, pun he's pushing very well. Uh, again, I hold strong to the fact that the Zealot, I think, is one of the best units um, for uh, just controlling the other team. Uh, I feel like just that that defensive no. that defensive player is missing, though, for four strikers, one cup, and I think that's holding them back right now. They're having a lot of trouble on defense. Now they're down 2 to 11. Esco. I don't know what that was. Esco just trying to show off maybe with the grab. He just whiffed on that grapple. Snipe being thrown out there by Aardvark. Um, and it's going to result in a tuner over. Town Crier's not able to shoot it quickly enough, though. Possibly trying to bait out the Nidus and he gets caught. Uh, Esco. Trying to find Town Crier. Try and stop us. No. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Titanium out in front. He's got a little bit to contend with. Aardvark manages to snipe. Try and stop us. Shield wall being thrown down by Titanium. Thought he could get around. He does manage to squeeze through, but try and stop us. Gets pushed out of bounds. Corner bread denied. Try and stop us with a big save. Now Whisper trying to grab the ball. Not going to happen. Pulled back by Esco, who is just playing ridiculous on the Queen right now. I would like to mention. Try and stop us. Trying to find that loose ball. Not going to happen. He does manage to get the Nidus, though. Shield wall denied from Titanium. Titanium with a quick steal. Throws it in the goal. 2-12. to 12. Grand Strikers running away with this game. And just amazing, amazing stuff um, from both of these games so far. You know, even though Four Strikers One Cup is down, I gotta say, 
there have been some really, really good plays from them. Grand Strikers is just flat out playing better. That's that's the problem. Town Crier now looking for that goal. Shield wall from Titanium. What is happening, Titanium? Your socks. Your socks, man. They're so dirty. They are so dirty. Oh, Whisper! Bounces it off the post. Can't grab that last goal there for uh, four strikers, one cup. Snipe coming out from Aardvark. And uh, I have to agree. I think I don't think the Ghost is a good enough unit. Try and stop us. Trying to grab the ball. Runs into the shield wall. Can't even get the Nidus off. Titanium shield walls have been on point all game. Insane shield walls. He has scored so many goals Go! just because of those amazing shield walls. A last goal goes in for Grand Strikers, and they're going to win in a 2-0 fashion. Wow. Wow. I got to say, Titanium has to be MVP of that match. If he's not, this thing doesn't know how to calculate it. Yeah. That was, that was beastly, beastly. Woo! I got to say, man, I'm really impressed, really impressed. You know, Four Strikers is not a walkover team. They played really well. Uh, I might have just missed it. I mean, it's, sometimes it's hard to follow the action. But, yeah, I mean, I play Zealot, so I generally know what happens when they're trying to get in front of the ball for the grapple. Um, <clears throat> good plays, man. Good plays. Grant Strikers with the win. I mean, uh, what else can you say? What else can you say, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Impressive stuff from the purported probable number one team in the kick it forward league gonna be some really really good games uh coming up tomorrow as well i'll be doing some more casts of that i'm i'm hoping you enjoyed the cast if not well tough because i'm probably going to be doing a lot more so suck it up and try and be constructive in your criticism so i can improve there's gonna be some changes to the website also uh kifleague.com as it is conveniently shown on the screen check it out we're going to have uh, a bunch of changes to the website uh, I'm going to change the design a little bit um, it was intended to be a beta um, and I got way more teams than I expected I can't say that enough and I try and say it as often as possible I got way more teams than I expected <laughs> did not expect 28 teams so some stuff has to be altered um, the league setup, um, the league setup has to be changed a little bit. Um, I'm also going to post this, uh, th thank you, by the way, F Fusion, thank you. Um, I appreciate you making that thread. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there is a videos section on the site now. I'm going to be uploading, uh, all the videos that I cast to the, uh, Kick It Forward YouTube channel. Um, please, uh, please subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And, uh, enjoy. If you, uh, if you want to help support Kick It Forward, we're going to try and make this thing big. Um, and, uh, yeah, 